Hello, today is the 3rd of September 2020 and I want to read on Putin. I want to read on us what if we are going to get and I'm trying to keep this camera from falling so I'm sorry. Um, I'm, I want to see if we're going to get payback. He has caused us so much trauma, so many deaths of people through Trump and on his own. Um, but the recent, as we know, use of Novichuk on, which is a nerve agent, and it's what he used on the Skripals in um, England. And it's what killed at least one civilian in England. They were so sloppy. The, 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 the goons he sent over to do this were so sloppy that um, they didn't care either if innocent people that weren't part of their target died. That's what ended up happening. This man has got to be stopped. So I want to see if the world, and the world's starting to get on board. Just now I looked at the breaking news and I see that there are more nations calling Russia out for what they're doing. But I want to know, and I've said this before, if more of the world will come together and put the brakes on it. Because He's not only making the U.S. unstable and miserable, but many parts of the other, of all around the world, because he wants, I believe, to, to frankly, be in control of the world. I, I really do. I think he wants to be America and, and other countries just to be like the former satellites of, of Russia were. And he can get stuck. It's not going to happen. Also, I have a we have some new decks coming in. It's my birthday month, and my birthday's in two days. Oh my gosh, I'll be fifty-two. I've already said this, <laughs> but um, I want to explain some of the fancy-ish fancy cards you're seeing. Um, also, because I'm a tarot reader and I love cards so but um, I have picked up a few more because of my birthday so this one is the weird cat tarot and it is really a beautiful tarot deck number one I like that the, the packing isn't um, over the top it's a neat box magnetic lid took me a little while to figure that out you should have seen me look like a fool and then the uh, the edges have a a metallic pink purpley violet uh, shine. You can't really see that. There we go. Now you get kind of getting it. It's gorgeous. And here's some of the artwork on the bottom of the deck. That's the five of pentacles. So. I want to use this deck, break it in, and it's it's got just very quick. It has um, a nice quality card stock. I don't think these are going to have the artwork or the images peel, especially the way I shuffle. I shuffle side to side because my hands are small, and I have also some arthritis in my hands, so. But mostly it's that my hands are small. Sorry, this is on an incline. Oh, here we go. So there is the very quick unboxing of the Weird Cat Tarot. Um, I've just taken the cards out of the box, so I need to um, give them a really good shuffle. I don't know why that one's like that. Okay. And what I have to do is break, if you have small hands like me, you have to break the deck down um, in quarters, basically. 
this is see this is why it's harder than it looks to just get this right in film you know so I want to look at Putin oh, I can't do I can't even just do half it's so stiff and my hands are petite so I want to look at Putin and if he gets the the payback from America that he deserves Will America get Putin back for what he has done to our country? I mean, if you sit there and you think about it, think about over four years how getting Trump in, he groomed Trump, he's led Trump to think that he's his buddy. He knows how to play Trump like a violin. We all know that. It's the only person Trump won't say anything about. And Barr also wants us to look away uh, from Russia. I want to read on that fool as well. So these are the two readings I want to try to do today. We'll see what I what happens. Okay? All right. First, we're going to look at Putin, and if America gets him back for the damage he has done to our country, this cannot go. This cannot go unanswered. Right now, we're busy trying to to pick up the pieces and the mess and bring his little traitor uh, in to the law, but we have to get him out of office. Putin has really messed us over and um, I'm not, I don't, I don't want us to have some kind of big war or something stupid. Neither of these men are worth one more person dying. Not Trump, not, you know, not Putin, none of them. None of them are worth someone else's life. And they have caused so many people to die. These people really think that they have that kind of authority. They don't realize they're just a human being. They're, they're, they're no better than the rest of us. And they really need to have their uh, coat checked, shall we say. So... Let's look at Putin and if America, does America sort Putin out for what he has done to our country with Trump? Okay, I think I'm kind of satisfied with the, the shuffling. Forgive me for the extra length it took to do that. But it's a new deck. And you have to break down. We get the Seven of Wands. So I think, yeah, we will swat back at him for this. He's got something coming. Five of Wands. This shows the um what what would you call the 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 conflict that there's that there is. a kind of back and forth going on of arguing of of not getting on of competing you know tripping somebody up you know you you're, you're targeting each other back and forth so this is a feeling of and maybe because there's a five and I see the different paws here I feel like it's not just America going for Trump. I don't think we're just, I don't think that we'll be alone in it. I think there's more than one hand involved in taking power away from Putin. Probably by various nations, 
um, coming to agreement to do certain things that we will either know about or probably not know about also that undermine him. There, and some of it is going to be definitely, I would say, out in the open, but of course, I'm sure some of it will also be off the radar because that's how it tends to go in the world. Reverse of the Ten of Swords. And then we have the Two of Swords. So, this reversed makes me feel like the that almost like it's it's saying that uh, to me this is like halting the damage that he was doing but just just coming ever so close to it being too too far and wanting to It's caused us also, part of the message here that I just flashed on was that it has caused us to have to look within with that Two of Swords and look at the disorder going on in our country and how he was able to do it and have to look at the issues. So that in essence is a backhanded favor in some ways, but the damage that he has caused for us to get to that point is serious and he was he, we don't need him to do that this was something that our country should that every country should deal with um, and be encouraged to sort out their problems of class race um, minorities freedoms and needs their treatment toward the LBGTQIA community, you know, all this, society needs to catch up. And that's part of what we're going into in this new era. So I think when we look at it this way, all right, can you guys still see that? Yes, okay, I have to look over. I don't usually read reverse cards, but when I was shuffling, I must have spun some of the deck around. So I'll just go ahead and read it. Oh, interesting as I look. Okay, so we get the Page of Wands, we get the reverse Six of Swords, and then we get Death and the Six of Wands. We're going to get him out of power. We will put an end to his power. You know, he's been creating serious havoc around the world and parading around, acting, you know, throwing his weight around, acting like the big cheese. He's got a huge ego. But there is, so there is something along that line, too, that we go for, it looks like, with that page. It has to do with information that comes out, six of swords reversed and it has to do I think with the dissent going on in his own country I think maybe enabling and helping people uh, to get information out that he suppresses and that he depends on to keep suppressed in order to maintain this deadly um, have this deadly admiration that some people have for him, the, the sick people that actually think he's a decent person and want him to stay in power. Um, we're going to especially try to expose what a fraud he is, that he's um, certainly dangerous but that he needs to go because he's in the way of freedom 
he's in the way of evolving uh, and I think us trying to encourage the Russian people um, to take heart and us tr I think we'll try to help them there's things like that going on we will definitely though be going for him not always in an overt really loud way because you don't want to announce what you're going to to do bef exactly in detail before you do it or you lose the element of surprise and that's huge so at the time of, I feel like of our choosing we will be letting the air out of Putin's tires the Emperor huh? the Ace of Pentacles I feel that we will help them to look to get a new leader in 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 control. Definitely, because you have the reverse nine of cups, um, and you have temperance. So there's this need that's not being met. The people aren't happy in that nation. All we have to do is to appeal appeal to that multitude the growing multitude who've been born at a time where they've only ever known Putin as a leader. And that's been for donkey's years now for many people. Now I'm older and I remember Yeltsin and Gorbachev and all of that, but people that are younger, um, my children's age and, and, and so on, are tired of the suppression of if you're gay or part of the LGBTQIA uh, community over in Russia. It's horrible there. It's horrible. And I feel that people are weary of Putin, weary of his fiddling of elections in his own country and other places. And they definitely also, I feel like the Russian people know what time it is, a lot of them. I mean, they've had him. They know him well. They know stuff we don't know because Putin suppresses so much of the information of, about what goes on in his nation. He's just another, you know, dictator whose time has come to go. And we will be helping to do that. We will be helping to get information exposed on him to his own people. Yeah. I believe there will be quite possibly a woman that will end up leading Russia. I get a Queen of Wands. And she has to go up against these men that gaslight, that play mind games, and do all this stuff. You know, the, Russia is a very sexist country. That's something a lot of I don't Americans don't really know very much about Russia, and it would behoove us all uh, to learn. We need if you you need to know your enemy, and it's not the Russian people that are the enemy, it's Putin, it's that whole kind. of of dictator suppressive regime you know like Trump's but Putin's worse Trump would love to become like Putin that's his man crush but Putin is a fraud himself he has to use all this criminal activity because he can't make their economy work either. He put their economy in the toilet also. 
with his criminality. So he and, and Trump have that in common. They also have the fact that their days are numbered in common because of their abuse of power. You, it, it just happens. You will go. So I see a woman And I don't know if, uh, I think Kamala, I think Kamala will oversee some stuff for sure where Putin is concerned. And it's, there's, she's going, if, if this is her, whoever this woman is, I think she's going to bring a new, something new in. Unless this is, as I first think, I, I definitely think there's, feel that there's a, a female leader that will come to power in Russia that will be significant. I just got that. I've never gotten that before, so that's weird. Let's just note that, okay? But I I feel like definitely Kamala will certainly be part of a team that would be, you know, looking into getting Putin his just desserts. I also feel like there is a woman who will come to lead. And she, too, I think, will... Um, Let's look at that. Okay. One more time. I want to just get another look. So when I read, I do more than one reading. I don't just usually do one and done unless it's been a really deep dive. It takes me a little while to kind of submerge and get into the zone. So let's just take a look again. Will America get Putin back for what he has done to us as a nation and put us through? I mean, it's good that we're ad addressing stuff that we've always needed to address, but he's da he damn near destroyed us in the process. And it's not over yet. In fact, we're going to be going, and as far as I'm concerned, into probably the some of the most crazy days as we go toward this election and, and afterward, um, for a time afterward. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be like magic once we, of course, once we get a new government in, but it will sure feel different. Um, and Trump will give us crap until he can't. He is not going to go quietly into that good night. So very quickly, one more time, do we get Putin back for what he has done to our nation? Does America get Putin back for what he has done to us? Oh, I see. I hate Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We will. There is something that has yet to be exposed. Nine of Swords. Something that he's done, in, I feel like in the past, with um, his wars and and choices of and tactic. I think his tactic will be exposed. Also, he doesn't have and will not have the power base to act. 
and we come for him. But he's, it's kind of like, and he's coming toward us, for sure. I mean, he's, mm -hmm. This is where we're looking, the hanged cat. Uh, hanged man and the six of pentacles, the empress, and justice. Oh, yes. Yes, we will. Now, he's been able to do this tomfoolery around the world with that chariot. He has been able to go for various governments around the world and m m throw a spanner in the works and kind of do so, you know, on the quiet. Why is everyone so quiet and, and, and a lot, you know, nobody, people are afraid of him, you know? Britain's afraid of him. They don't, they did F all when he's poisoning people in their own nation coming in and they need to I think throw out the diplomats throw out Putin's people really cut them off and maybe that's what something like that will happen that's the only that's just my opinion um, I think that that is something that people could choose to do and a way to strike back at their government and say, you know what? But it's not as simple as that because you have to deal with the people that are on board with Russia unless for some reason it works to their benefit that there's a there's a change or there's there they can't do anything about it and there is where we're looking at china and other people those folks america really needs to come out of its its immaturity and slumber and realize the greater world that is around us we've been uh, many of us have been taught a, a kind of very ethnocentric idea of america and we need to understand for our own sake how other cultures are, how they work, and not in a condescending way. But, you know, if you have to deal with somebody, you, really, you need to understand how they are and, and, and so forth. We need to have better insight. And not just our special... Um, agents and things like that and so on and so forth our people just in general we need to have that awareness so i think we will definitely go for him he has been able to stir up trouble and and kind of keep his name out of it but he's doing this you know we we're all left gasping at the audacity of the the horrible things he's doing but nobody is coming together collectively and saying, you know, Putin, the world is not going to play ball with you because you poison us. You think you can come into our countries and disrupt our elections and divide us and cause basically civil wars of ideals and, and so forth. Someone's got to do that, and I see that coming. The Empress, but it comes through a woman. It comes through women. And justice. And it goes back and it it looks at it's suspending okay, I'm getting it's suspending trade. There's some kind of trade. Yeah. With that hanged the hanged man. And if they if they want this the balance to come back in their economy, they're going to have to um, get rid of him because they're they will be I believe so. We will hang up their economy. It will be suspended. This is the quid pro quo card. The 
I'm going to buy this from you, or I've got this good, you can, you know, the exchange of money, the exchange. So to me, this is trade, this is economy. And again, here with the Empress, we're looking at the well-being, agriculture, all that of a nation. And this is a an act that is just in its suspension or sanctions. And Putin, there is some justice coming to him, coming his way. You know, he's been able to catch people, I think, also uh, an opportunity. Taking, He's been taking advantage of where we don't have our guards up. And here it looks to me like so he can take and have power and try and, and, and hold on to our stability because he doesn't have any economic stability in his country, so he's going to F ours up too. Probably he's going to F up his own at the same time. Queen of Wands again in that future position. See, I think, I think there's a woman in particularly within our government that will be very active in thinking of ways of how to deal with them. I think his ability It's, it's like, okay, for trade and all of that sort of thing to happen, it has to be just. You have to do it legally so that things can go in a better direction. It's, put, it's, it's forcing them to play ball the right way or forcing their government, Russia, to play ball the right way. That they're not going to be able to run... You know, Putin's not going to be able to run roughshod anymore so easily. And the King of Swords, he shows up in the reading. There he is, because he's a Libra with the Scorpio moon. King of Swords, Empress, and the Eight of Swords. So, there is some kind of confinement. He's going to be confined and squeezed with sanctions. Um, it's going to really squeeze him on his luxury, on, on, I feel like food and, and other, other goods. Unfortunately, it will, I'm sure, affect the people. Yeah, it's, it, I feel like there's a female in our country here. This is, she's our counterpart. And she's trying to go for and expose the the aspect of how of trade of, of of paying what you know that that flow because she knows that there are things that are hidden hidden deals that he's done probably hidden deals with Trump. And I feel when we look at this last line, horizontally, we get the Four of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Six of Swords. She's, there's a woman coming into power in our country that is going to spearhead, I think, sanctions and other things that confine, constrain, and really straitjacket Putin where economy is concerned. And that's what will really end up pushing more in his country and people in power to be willing also, people with money, to be willing to, more of them to, to, to be willing to let go of him and think, well, maybe, you know, I just want to be able to earn my coin. So 
I want to be able to earn my coins, so I don't want that Putin should be there. Uh, maybe if I, I'm more willing to work with a, somebody else, you know, because they want to earn, be able to earn money at the end of the day. And I think we're going to put on the straitjacket, and not just us, but possibly also other nations, and squeeze them with sanctions to the point that Putin's popularity, any remaining popularity, just plunges. So yes, we will be going for him, and it will be effective. It will be effective. All right? So there's that reading on Putin. If you're wondering what my shirt says, it says, There is a crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. And that's part of the lyrics of a Leonard Cohen song. Just in case you're wondering. So, um, I will get on to more readings, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.